All right, 2002 IS300. We're gonna change out the uh, stock rotors for slotted and drilled R2 Concepts rotors. So now we're gonna work on the back passenger, or excuse me, back driver's side. And uh, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take a tire iron while it's on the ground before we jack it up and uh, loosen up the bolts. Okay, now that we used our tire iron and loosened up the bolts, and this is the size of my bolts, well, seven and an eighth inches. You guys may have locks or something that differentiates, but that worked good for me. So now we're gonna go ahead and get out the old floor jack, three ton jack, and our jack stand. And we're gonna put it in here. Line it up and uh, get it jacked up. All right, now that we got the wheel off, this is what we're working with. This uh, stock rotor, we won't even put them on the lathe to get them turned. It's pretty nasty, we'll just salvage those, but <clears throat> we're not gonna use them again. Uh, somebody painted the calipers originally, so we'll, uh, that'll be another day, we'll sand those down and redo them. But uh, for right now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna Pull the uh, clamp pin, pin lock, and the uh, brake pads off. We're not gonna, we are gonna remove the caliper uh, to put the rotor on, but we're not gonna take the uh, brake line off. So, anyhow, we'll just rest this caliper when we get it off on the arm down there. So, all right, first things first, what we need to do is we're gonna pull that pin lock right there out. Okay. So we've pulled the pin lock out. We haven't, can't pull the pin out yet. So we're gonna pull this piece out. The easiest way I find is to pull forward. And we got the forward. Let's see if we can go up. There we go. Getting it back on will be fun too. All right, now we can slide our pin out. And we'll put it aside for later. See, we got those. Three parts right there. Okay, now we can pull our brake shoes out. We'll be replacing those with the Posi Quiets. These, actually, these pads are actually in pretty good shape, but we're gonna replace them anyway since we're down here. Sad. Um, at this time, you could take a C clamp and you want to push your caliper pistons back in, <clears throat> and it'll make it easier to put the uh, brake shoes back in later, the new ones. Okay, so now that we got our brake shoes out, our caliper pistons pushed back in, uh, we do need to remove the caliper before putting on the uh, slotted drilled rotor. So. There's two 17 millimeter bolts in the back. Uh, start with the top one. Now, these are probably rusted on there, uh, depending on how old your car is. Uh, you know, this one's 10 years old, so a lot of good use. I don't think the calipers have been off, maybe, but uh, <clears throat> you'll uh, have to get a torque wrench or use some Loctite, uh, or excuse me, uh, some liquid wrench, and let that soak in there and uh, loosen them up. So we have one here on top, and then just another one right here on the bottom. Let's see if I can pull back behind here. Should be able to see that. So we're just gonna be removing those two. We're not gonna be removing the brake line. We're gonna rest this caliper right here. All right. I've already gotten these loosened up.
going to need both my hands here. <laughs> okay, if you're a manual transmission like me, you'll want to uh, take your emergency brake off. And from here, uh, we just need to pull off this old rotor, maybe rust it on there. Um, if that's the case, you can get, uh, I believe it's a 12 millimeter bolt. You can uh, put in this hole here and screw it in and it'll pull it off of the back. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to pull this little grommet piece off of here and we'll be putting it right here on the rotor. So, all right, let's get to uh, moving. Okay, since uh, we're not gonna keep these rotors and uh, didn't have a bolt to screw in to loosen these up, <clears throat> a little trick uh, that I wanted to tell you guys, I just sprayed some WD-40 in here, here, around here, around here, around here, around here, around here, here. Uh, well, I didn't pull it around here. And a little bit in the back. And uh, then you can uh, just kind of take something flat, hammer that loose, because basically it's just surface rust from years of driving. This car has 100,000 miles on it. So anyway, uh, that'll loosen it up and you can pull it off. All right, we got the rotor off, and before I put the uh, new rotors on, all the surface rust, I usually go in there with some cleaner, uh, WD-40 or brake cleaner, and uh, just go around there, maybe some light sandpaper, like 220, and uh, just uh, scrape off all that surface rust and uh, before mounting the uh, new rotor. So we're gonna do that, get it cleaned up. All right. We got this cleaned up pretty good. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it uh, because you're never gonna see it, but we got most of the surface rust and everything off of there. So, all right, now we get to mount the drilled and slotted rotor. Should just line right up there. Line those up on the bolts and slide it right in. Now we're going to go in reverse, starting with the caliper. Alright, and there's the back driver's side, right before uh, we get ready to put the uh, tire back on. Wheel on tire. Alright, don't forget to take your little grommet piece out. Okay, why don't you pull your small grommet piece out of the old rotor, just a little plastic rubber grommet. There's a slot right there for it. You just gotta, you may take something like a flat screwdriver, but you can just pop it back in there. You can put it on before the rotor too. There it is. Okay, now we're working on the uh, front driver's side of the 2002 IS300. Uh, it's a little different than the back, so you still have two bolts for the calipers, which are uh, 17 millimeter. So we pull our wheel off, you know, loosen your bolts, then jack up the car, uh, <clears throat> pull your wheel off, and then from there you have your two 17 millimeter bolts. And I've rested this caliper. It's important to not just let it hang. I rested this caliper here on. Uh, this jack stand so you can see the corresponding holes. There's going to be one right here and one down here. Uh, used a little liquid wrench just to uh, get the rust and everything. It was kind of hard to get off there at first. I don't have any air tools just doing this in the garage. So uh, <clears throat> Used a uh, socket set just uh, you want to use oh, an extension. It's a real tight fit back there so you may have to play around with it trying to get it lined up for this bolt and this one here you may even need to use a wrench um, or your torque wrench uh, with an extension or short but uh, I let that liquid wrench sit in for about five minutes and then uh, was able to pull a caliper off so we'll get ready to clean this up the surface rust again a little WD-40 and some 220 sandpaper and here's our slotted rotor right there the fronts look a little different And 
to, we'll put that on there and we'll also change out the pads. All right. Okay, now it's time to install the new pads. This is the back rear. So uh, <clears throat> your caliper pistons, you may need to use a C-clamp to push those back in. Uh, we didn't uh, unhook the brake lines or anything like that. Just took a little bit out of the brake reservoir up front. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's the one there. Here, ceramic side, make sure it's in towards the rotor. And we'll have to adjust the caliper piston on that side. Okay, now we're ready. We got our brake pads in, one and two. So now we're ready to slide our pen back in from the front and side. Alright, so what I do is I line that up right there on the pin where there's an indention. So I kind of go in at an angle and get this. Well, let's just show you. So get in there. Once you get that lined up, right about there, let's get a little more light on there. There we go. And, and you just push down on this tab right here. Hard to do one handed and record it the other, but. And then uh, we're ready to move on. All right, now we're ready to clip our safety pin. Our lock, <coughs> lock pin, looks a lot like this. We're just gonna put that right in the pin there. I push down on it. There we go. That pin will stay in place there. All right. Now we can put the wheel back on. All right. There's the finished product. Wheels torque back down. Posi quiet brake pads and R2 concepts slotted and drilled rotors.